Well, great job answering the questions. I do have a couple of questions for you following up from uh, my our conversations with Josh and Brendan. First of all, I just want to say Brendan uh, does a really good impression of you. So you need to really? ask him to do that. Yeah. Let me say this. I hate all sauces. I'm a meat man. That's stupid. I like theater. The only true art. Short, shorts are the devil's clothing. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. He was basically like channeling Phil Warner the whole time we were in the interview. It was, it was classic. Uh, the other thing is the, the question that came up for Josh was, you know, what's something uncomfortable that you feel like everyone should experience at least once in their life? And Josh told a really interesting story about a time that you were in. Are you know where I'm going with this? Yeah. Uh, about a time that you were in Tel Aviv and uh, the local customs wanted to um, take apart the hard drive that you had on your uh, in your luggage. And you had to get like go into another room and they... What, what do you remember yeah. this story? Well, I was gonna, I actually thought you were gonna go with a different story with Josh about okay, you know, story, yeah, but, but that, that's a funny one just in the fact, like, because Josh, it was just the two of us on our first trip to Israel, so we had to film the whole thing. We did two series there, uh, with just the two of us, we we're the only crew, and we had no permits, and so the whole trip was just kind of like a wad of cash, paying people off, like. And so we get through there, and Josh, he had like, I don't know what, but we went through three levels of security. On the last security, his bag set off the um, the security for like explosives and stuff. So they send us back, and then they start going through our stuff. And so this was the first series that we didn't shoot on like a tape or have any type of things. So he's sitting there and so they're going through his stuff, but I'm with him and we have the same gear, like the same bags and stuff. So it's obvious we're traveling together. So they start going through my stuff and they bring out the hard drive for all the footage that we shot. And um, so they're like, sir, um, you know, and, you know we're, I mean, I'm very polite at this moment, you know, whatever, just look, we're, we're all good. And they're like, sir, we're gonna have to disassemble this hard drive. And at which point I might have kind of lost my temper a little bit. <laughs> At which point I said something like, okay, I understand you're just doing your job, but your job now directly conflicts with my job. So I can't come back with your the, uh, a hard drive in pieces. Like, I just can't do it. So you don't have permission to disassemble that hard drive. And like, sir, we, we know what we're doing. Very careful. No, you can't. If I need to go and buy that hard drive, a seat on the plane, I will do it. But this hard drive cannot be disassembled. And they're like, sir. And then I start to raise my voice and get really animated in the Tel Aviv airport. They don't really like that there. So they asked me to come back to a back room oh. and they asked me to remove, you know, my outer shirt and my pants and put them on. Like you're in like a, a dressing room, like, a, you know, and, the, and then you hang them there. And then they made me sit there for like half an hour and wait in my underwear for a person to come in and then they wanted me and then they felt me to make sure I was carrying some kind of weapon <laughs> and and the whole time I'm just thinking this is Josh's fault <laughs> if he would, we could have just gotten past that last security point we would I would not be being violated right now <laughs> and uh, anyway after about 45 50 minutes in this back room in my underwear they let me come back out to the bean area, and then they were like, oh, just turn it on and show if it works. And so I turned it on and plugged in the computer, and it, it was all the what we said it was, and then they were like, okay. But by that point, we only had like two minutes left to make before a plane was about to take off. So they like put us on a little security cart and drove us through the airport. Oh, nice. So we didn't miss our flight. So anyway, funny one. Wow. The uh, things that, you did to protect right now media footage. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. that was uh, just yeah. We've had a lot of experiences of just fun uh, times like that, where you know. Anyway, that is a great story. Well, hey, thank you so much, Phil, for sharing that with us and of course participating. It's always fun to get to know our executive leadership team a little bit better and hear some great stories like this. Uh, of course, we appreciate all you guys are doing for uh, the company. And uh, man, just so glad to have you on today. No, no, thank you. 
And thank you guys for doing this. This stuff is fun and great while we're living in this COVID world. Yeah. So.